I've had such an amazing time creating my new album. I'm feeling so creative, feeling so vibrant and ready for people to hear this music. Well, it's funny being in the room with Ryan and Charlie because they love talking to each other. They love to talk. They're just full of energy. And me, you know, I'm more like focused on task, quiet, mellow. And I'm like, you know, let's write the song. Well, all-star team here. Let's see if we come up with something to beat other stuff. Usually I'll start any song with the music. What will the melody sound like? What will the beat sound like? And then I usually write the lyrics after all that's figured out. I'm playing for more like the vibe, you know? Yep, I like, I like the fact that this is a weird way to use this beat. No chords or anything. I like this groove. It's weird, right? Because it starts to on the floor, but then I like this. I was thinking the only kind of thing I had in my head coming into this today was obviously Timbo mm -hmm. and thinking the best of Pharrell. Like the, the records that we love that he's done where he just hit out of the park. The Neptune mm -hmm. is literally my, my genesis. Yeah. So there you go. Obviously Pharrell Williams is one of the great producers of all time. Charlie started playing some chords that kind of reminded us of him. You're in the right space. And then, out of the blue, he calls Ryan Tedder. You can't, you can't make this shit up. That's great. P! <laughs> Skateboard P! <Awesome. laughs> that was funny. My dude, what's up, man? Literally sitting here with uh, Mr. John Legend. The you know, weird, like, 30 seconds ago. I was like, oh, it's like, like, you know, kind of like Pharrell vibe. And then, like, I was tripping out. Anyway. Uh, we felt like it was a sign we should go in the Pharrell direction. <laughs> So I actually mumble my songs before I write them. It's like all of the shit sure. he's seen kind of. Yeah. David Foster's first time. I mean, why are we? It's a weird day. It's time him and the next like, like uh, this time you. You guys, between you two, your two uh, calls, you've got like some of the most prolific <laughs> producers on the earth today. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking, it's crazy. We're with John Legend. We're Pharrell's FaceTiming him. David Foster's FaceTiming me. Yes. You hear that, Ian? <laughs> I, I have a, uh, my mom's calling me. <laughs> my mom called me earlier. And every song is pretty much like that. I'll mumble a bunch of melodies and make no sense, uh, and then I'll figure out what I want to say eventually. Me coming up with the concept for Dope was an important moment, of course. Uh, you know, we had been fooling around, singing different melodies, not knowing where the song was going to go. But then it hit me. I started just thinking about what we could do with the idea around dope, dope fiend, dope queen, all that stuff started coming to me pretty much right away. What if we called it dope and the chorus is like, and she's so dope, I wanna be a dope fiend, dope fiend, yeah, she's so dope, you can be my dope queen. Dope queen, and then do like the idea is that the woman you're pursuing is so exciting and so thrilling that you could see yourself getting addicted to her. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like John Wafu is like the love is like a roller coaster. You can't get off, and it makes you go like a ah, roller coaster. Yeah, what's the what's the chorus be like? Low lights, oh my, I'm about to die. Roller coaster, and I want that right. She's so. I love it. Wow, we 
did something today. We spent four hours on something. We came up with something that didn't exist before we walked in the room. And that's always an exciting feeling. I love this. Good record. Life is good. Ready for people to hear this music. We're happy, we're healthy. I can't complain. I feel very blessed.